Pets currently are living statistically seven years shorter than they did 20 years ago. Now we're going backwards with all the modern medicine, with all the advancements, with all the things that we know, why is it that the statistics show that our pets are living seven years shorter than they did 20 years ago? 20 years ago, it was common to see labs and golden retrievers and, and even small breed dogs that were living into their late teens, early 20s. And now it's rare. Most of these animals aren't living past 10. And that's because they're coming down with these chronic degenerative diseases. But it's also linked to the level of increase in toxins in the environment. So the body has six organs of elimination. We were literally, and the dogs and cats do as well, and we were designed to be able to withstand stressors and toxins and be able to transmute some of these negative things, make them harmless and send them out the body. I mean, the liver does three phases of detoxification. It's amazing what the body can do, but it was never designed to withstand the level, the burden of toxicity that we're exposed to today. So it's everywhere you turn. It's all the foods that are processed and full of hormones, chemicals and GMOs and pesticides and, and devoid of enzymes. It's just dead food it's franken food that we're feeding and then the water over 85,000 toxins in tap water and then it's the air quality that we're dealing with and it's the emf it's the mold i live in florida so we have a lot of mold around here and and then it's the ants in our brain you know these automatic negative thoughts that are creating the neurochemicals that we talked about and then everything that's touching our skin the products that we're using from women's makeup to shampoos and conditioners that we unconsciously are washing our babies and not realizing that we're disrupting their entire endocrine system like we're making them susceptible to diseases and of course we're doing that to our pets as well